Today we have another great journal for you and there are lots of things to learn here. And this journal, as we can see, has currently a losing performance. But there is really great news for this trader because he could have been profitable easily by now. And it seems that his trading strategy has a profitable core. So let's find out how this trader can turn his trading around. The first thing I noticed when I opened his journal is that he has a negative average P&L. And this means that on average he is losing money on every single trade. And we see here that his average winner is just barely larger than his average losing trade. And because his win rate is so low currently, this gives him a negative average P&L. So let's go to the chart lab and then we go to our risk distribution. And we see here that the majority of his winning trades fall into this interval with this large bar. And this is the interval between 0 and 0.25%. At the same time, he has two losing trades here in this interval between minus 3.75 and 3.5. And to make up for those two losses alone, he would need 28 of such winning trades to just break even. So this shows us that his winning and losing trade size is skewed and there seems to be something wrong here. But why are his winners so small? And for that, we go to our trade management graph and this shows us the answer. And although there is a data error here, and I will show you in a moment how to fix this, we can clearly see that before and after the data error, the yellow line is moving only lower. So here you can see the yellow line is heading lower here. And before this data issue, the management effect here in yellow shows minus 22. And this means that he is losing minus 22R by actively interfering with the trades. And this typically means cutting winners too soon or what we have seen also is that traders trail their stop loss too aggressively and then they will get taken out by a small price move against their trade because the stop loss is so close and then the price would have reversed back to the initial take profit. Here as well the yellow graph is only moving lower so it shows that the trader is actively losing money by mismanaging his trades. The good news is his trade management graph also shows that he could have been profitable by now if he would have followed his trading plan and trusted the process. And for that we take a look at the green line. The green line here before the data error shows a positive performance and it's well above the blue line. And this means that he could potentially have made profits here. We see here the potential performance with plus 9.12R. And then even after the data issue, the green line is moving upwards. And this shows that potentially he could have made money, but because he's messing around with his trades, he is currently losing money. So this is already very great news here for the trader. And those are very important findings that should give the trader confidence. And by improving his trade management, which means in this case, letting his trades play out without messing with them, he could have realized larger winning trades and boosted his average P&L a lot. When we now go to the performance by setup, we see that he currently only has two profitable setups. The other five are losing money at the moment. However, at this point, I would not say that he should stop trading all of the five underperforming setups. And after he has improved his trade management, he is most likely also able to see an improvement in the profitability of his losing setups. So I would recommend for this trader to come back to the setup performance after around the next 30 to 50 trades and then reevaluate how this looks like because most likely if he's able to boost his average P&L, fix his trade management, then he will also most likely see a significant improvement here on the underperforming setups. As I said, I also want to give this trader some tips on his improving his data quality and correcting some of the issues. So the first thing that really stands out is the trade management. And whenever you see such a big jump, there's usually just one reason for this to happen. So when we hover over this trade, which is responsible for this big jump, we open it. We can see this is a long trade and we see that the entry price is at 2397.28. The stop loss, however, is at 2397.39. So it seems like the trader has trailed the stop loss. However, in Edgewonk, it's so important that you always keep the initial stop loss in place because otherwise it will mess this up and it will not allow the trade management graph to work properly. So when you move your stop loss in your actual trading, 
You don't adjust this in Edge Room, you always keep the initial stop loss. After the trader has corrected this, the trade management graph will also be fixed here. So whenever you see a jump, you can just look at the trade and see what is going on here. Same is true for this trade. The entry price is at 2325.38 and the stop loss 2325.65. So the stop loss again is above the entry price. This will then correct the trade management graph. The next thing I noticed is his exit analysis. And whenever you see that the red bars are above the zero line, that also indicates there is some issue here. So let's open this up. And the red lines should only appear below this zero line. The red and the green bars here are driven by the highest and the lowest price. The problem here is that he seems to have moved his decimal or there was an error with the decimal. You can see here the entry was at 1.06, but the lowest price is here at 1.60. So it seems like he just has missed here the zero after the decimal. This will then correct it. And finally, one of the most important things I would recommend for this trader is to improve the way he's using the entry and the exit comments. So when we go now to the trade comments here in the uh, chart lab, for the entry comment, he is using two comments, entered trade and entered early. And 99% of his trades are tagged with this trade comment here. However, entered trade is not really helpful because it doesn't give you any other insights. And what we recommend is that he should adopt a more qualitative approach for his comments. For the entry comment, he should consider using comments such as good entry, early entry, late entry, or invalid trade. And that way he's then able to identify the reasons for what is going on, what are the issues that he is having, and then he can work on them targetedly. When we go to the exit comments, he can see he has stop loss hit, take profit hit, and break even. They don't show what is going on here. They just describe what has happened. So for, a, for an exit comment that are more qualitative, he could consider using exit early, exit according to the plan, and mistake. And that way he has a more qualitative approach that will provide better insights into his trading approach and will help the trader find out where he is losing money, what is his biggest issue, and then he can work on that much more targetedly. If you want us to review your journal in one of the next review videos, go to edgewonk.com review or click the link in the video description below.